Hello friends, welcome back. In the last video, I have shown you how we can insert uh, records in our database. This is a, this is a different technique. Let's say we, we will add more columns uh, in uh, in our data in our table. So we just need to add here key means column name and the value. Then we can add uh, like this. So we can add more columns in our database. But right now I don't have uh, more columns in my database, so I'm just leaving here. And let's say we will create uh, uh, a new table. So we we no need to write uh, this uh, insertion uh, function again. We will just uh, uh, after getting input from user, we can just uh, pass uh, the input to the function like uh, in this manner in a different is set. In this video, I'm going to fetch my record. First, I will include uh, my action page here. PHP and include action PHP. Save this. Now we have the object of uh, data operation class, and here I will start PHP block and i can use my object here so for this we just need a, a object of our class dollar obj arrow fetch let's go record this record and we need table name medicines medicines and this this is our table name object fetch record medicines save this and create a function here public function page underscore record and uh, table and here I'm going to use simple query because I'm going to select all so there is no uh, a efficient way to from dollar table this is simple query and just uh, take a array so this is a array and use a while loop before you execute your query so dollar query equals to mysqli underscore page and score associate sorry it's we need query let's go query and dollar this uh, connection is a connection variable from the database class and our uh, our query is now executed now we need while dollar row equals to my sqli underscore page underscore associate function the associate function and write the query here and we just need the array we are holding all the row, rows in array variable so make it a 2d array uh, array inside uh, in each uh, in each uh, index we will have an array so for this dollar row just write dollar row so this is a this is a 2d array i mean uh, in each, uh, each in each index of this array we will have a 1d array and after executing successfully executing we will return our array simply so this is a function and uh, this is a query table and now everything is okay let's return it here in the index of php page object fetch record medicines when this function will uh, return some uh, array let's say dollar my data 
okay hmm. my row instead of saying data my row so we have written here my row and i'm just going to use a loop for each and just change my variable to my row and remove this one as row and here it will be your here is your code so this is the this for each this is the breaking point okay how we will break it just leaving this sorry so this is our breaking point and take a break copy this tr actually cut it from here and paste here This will be ID and end with semicolon. Copy this, remove comma flame, write here medicine name, name underscore name, and here quantity. So here QTY. So now let's save this and run so you can see here we have some list of uh, medicines as in my database and here is a blank because i have inserted the uh, blank uh, we need to care about it in the in the next video i will just uh, i will just give uh, here some restriction to not insert MPD. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and you can visit my web page. Here you will get all code when I will post here. and slash okay tubes this taking time so this is my web page here you can uh, post me a message whatever you want and if you have some question in your mind and this is my web page you can give me here a like if you like my videos and here i post my tutorials and you may comment here so thanks for watching